to the death of my daughter. She died when she was eight years old from a food allergy very suddenly. And this is my emotional journey that I took after she died. The poems have no titles, uh, but I will try to go very gently from poem to poem. I am sorry for the cradle, the walk between dreams, for the distance ignited in your eyes. I count seeds from wavering dogwoods, collect white knives from your mouth. I am the book of winds, the red dew, petals across my chest. I am the chaste night mountain, a coiled wind exhaling shadows of crystalline black. I am the mouth of great blue breath, a bare scent on parched earth, the ribbon of rising wing, kiss of God broken in your pale eyes. What was between us was a demand for names when the warmth of blood of wild dogs was the dream of a dance with sirens, heavens, and the clotted leaves and the clearing mutations between my fingers over and over, hands red in repentance. Parched accent of the hard dirt. Were you to believe in junction of light, then I would die the thousandth time. Along the way, I dropped you and you lay apart from creation. Midday sun severs my tongue. You reach to the birthplace of gods along the way. I have misplaced you among red tulips and the mist. Surrender dayfall to white breath. Ritual of circles, I hollow your name above faces in the stones and dirt. Blood drops near the open cage. I dig in the ruins for absence. Ignite your canceled breath. Again, I have forgotten your face. A mask of the weary night in millions of grains of sand. I cover myself in blue night. Endless call to my bones. I lay by the firestone, hide the unburied dead. In my throat shrieks the beast. The shuttered dark flees behind my back. I am the sifter of soundless echoes brushed with dirt and crumbling bits of names that stuff my mouth, that wound my tongue on the falling scent of sky, edging toward
towards the blue. My tongue spills salt from the breath of each day. My voice hollows the promise and my recovery. Silent white crowds my mind. You call the dark with the names of birds. Taste salt for the meal with the dead. We swing shovels over our heads. Calm darkness. I drown by the roots of the fir, bright space and the dread. Grave sky alone at the clay table. Voices hunger in the night language of water and black wind. Wings across each red shoulder, an arrangement of lilies and gold and the day's long thrust into this room of sparrows. On a palace disorder, colonies of light trip against the river's crossing shadow. Evening dripping from your palm shatters to the ground. Murmur Rachel, sweep of dust across the brow. The day's red rhythms intend the sunrise. Bring fever to your lips, fever to my eyes. Mix white and silence with each strike of the bell. Cross shadows of green and corners of the wind. I hear you in the night webs. Shovels by each window weep. Thorns stumble from your shoulder. I slip through portals in the silver night and promise you silence. Your soul flies from the earth to my mouth. Summer leaves and heavy branches burden the ground. I am the beast contained, the prayer shawl of darkness. I heave your plate to the sky, explode thousands of crystals in the wind. I run fingers across your mouth where the wind has been. Your voice haunts my tongue. The taste of your gaze shadows my eyes. I wash your body a second time. My knife is sharp. Begin with the crossing stories and fields of heaven. Taste the silence, salt on a long whistle. Smell winds of the darkness. Open the night by its winged hinges. Frail intention of the blessing on your forehead. The nightmare coursing down your back. For the breath I bred for you. Bring your bones to the edge of black prayers. And in memory villages, where weeping runs down the walls, I call your name to still the sky. <laughs>